Hi everyone and welcome to this R for Beginners tutorial on how to get started using Posit Cloud. Posit Cloud is very similar to RStudio. In fact, it used to be called RStudio Cloud, but it is completely based on the cloud, which means it's completely online. So this is really great for those of you who are brand new to R because you can get started straight away without the hassle of installing R or RStudio. So while there are several ways you can get started on the R for Beginners lessons, I highly recommend this method for complete beginners. All right, so the first thing we'll do is navigate to the R for Beginners homepage and click on Posit Cloud, this Posit Cloud link. You will have to create an account if you don't already have one, but it's really easy to do. You can just sign up or sign in with one of your these methods here. Okay, I already have an account, so I'm gonna just log in with Google. And now this will take a few seconds to deploy our R for Beginners Lessons project, but at the top you can see it's automatically going to say R for Beginners Lessons within the workspace here. If you've never used R or R Studio before, I know this may look a bit overwhelming, but I promise it's easy to use and easy to get started and you'll figure it out as you go. So if we look over in the files tab, we can see all of our different lessons here. So right now at this time, it looks like we have five lessons on the website and ready for you to go ahead and get started working through. All of the lessons have this extension .rmd, which is just a R markdown file type. So if we wanna get started on the first lesson, all we have to do is click on this RMD file and it will open up over here and you can see this is the complete lesson. And now just to show you, this is exactly what we would see on the website if we're on the basic syntax first lesson plan. And so if we're scrolling through, we can see this is our first bit of code and we have all of the uh, text and explanations outside of the code. So in Posit Cloud, we can see if we scroll down, we have, again, all of our text. And as soon as we get to the R code, you can see it's in these gray boxes. These, this is called an R chunk. And in order to run your code, all you have to do is click this green button. Okay, so let's go ahead and run this one. And now we can see we print the results and it says hello world and it also prints the results in the console below. Just as one more example, let's run this bigger chunk. Again, this will run everything. So we can see we have a variable X, Y, and Z. And now it not only runs it and prints the results, but it also saves our variables to our environment over here. So we can see X is saved as 10, Y 25, and Z as 100. Okay, so this is your own copy of the lesson. So you can play around with the code, you can edit the code, you can really do whatever you want without worrying that it's going to mess up some anyone else's code. All right, at this point, you've probably noticed in the bright flashing red, it's warning you that this is a temporary copy. This means if I were to close out right now, nothing would be saved. I would lose all of the work. So what you wanna do if you plan on returning to these lessons at a later time, you do wanna make sure to click save a permanent copy. Okay, so nothing has changed, but now it's saved this workspace. So if we go over to where it says your workspace, you can see this is what we've just created and saved. So we can now open it back up and pick up right where we left off.
So we are constantly developing new lessons for R for Beginners. So you may be wondering what happens if you come back in a couple of months and you see a new lesson on the website that you want to try out. So I would say there are two options here. One, you can either go through this exact process again where you follow the link on the website to Posit Cloud, you'll create a new workspace and you can save another permanent copy that will now have all of the latest lessons. One thing that I do wanna point out here is that it, especially if you're using the free account, you do have a limited number of projects and total hours within Posit Cloud. So what do I mean by that? If we look here I can see, yes, I'm using the free cloud account. I have, it looks like a total of up to 50 projects I can create and 25 hours. I think this is per month. So this, yeah, it, it will reset after May 19th. So this should be more than enough time to go through the lessons here. But if you find yourself running out of time or projects, I would suggest at that point downloading R and R Studio to your local computers, and that way you can use it as much as you want. Everything is also saved on your local computers, which makes that which makes it easier too. If you do decide to do this, you can follow a to, another tutorial I created on the Getting Started tab that is an introduction to R that will walk you through the steps of the installation process, and getting everything set up on your home computers. Additionally, you can find another tutorial on the Getting Started tab that will go through the steps of how to get started going through the lessons using GitHub. So those would be the two tutorials I would recommend watching if you kind of want to take it one step further and start going through these lessons on your laptops or computers. Okay, so that's everything for this tutorial on getting started using Posit Cloud. I hope you found this helpful and I hope you enjoyed the lessons and learn a lot. Thank you so much for watching.